Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Sometimes we get so confused on is our narcissist a narcissist? Well, we get confused <laughs> because there's eight different types at least. Uh, there's kind of like subtypes of narcissism. And we're going to talk about the different kinds that there are um, to kind of help give you a little bit more insight. Uh, now, narcissists, uh, uh, some of you know, uh, need five out of nine traits. I have a video on that. Um, but there is something known as healthy narcissism, believe it or not, it actually does exist. Um, just because somebody has some narcissistic traits, uh, traits doesn't necessarily mean that they have the personality disorder. You have to be clinically diagnosed with MPD uh, where you exhibit at least 55% of the most common signs of narcissism. And it also has to affect your life in some way. So many people might have these traits and they don't really meet the criteria for the full disorder. But healthy narcissism is kind of like in a, a category of its own. It's actually somewhat positive compared to some of the other ones. Uh, each person, uh, we have a healthy bit of narcissism going on within us. It's kind of like a way we can survive and communicate, protect our, ourselves, and uh, we can feel proud of our accomplishments. There's nothing wrong with it. We're not grandiose about it. And we get excited about sharing our accomplishments with others because it makes us feel good. And there's nothing wrong with talking about yourself. There's nothing wrong with uh, kind of wanting some praise uh, uh, for the things that you've done in life. So healthy narcissism just, uh, you know, kind of in a sense gives us a little bit of entitlement to it. like, yeah, I did a great job. It's, it's my turn um, to have a little focus on me. Uh, it, it feels good. Uh, and a lot of times we return that to the other people. So it's not all about taking. And um, they're usually in line with reality. So that's uh, a positive thing. We're not making things up, um, pretending we won some competition that we never entered or have a job that we don't. Um, but then there's uh, some of the more negative ones. The second one is grandiose narcissism. And this closely resembles uh, kind of our, our broad understanding of what makes somebody a narcissist. So when it refers to psychology, Grandiosity refers to having somewhat of an unrealistic sense of superiority. So it's kind of delusional. And this grandiose narcissism uh, involves a person overestimating their own abilities and they'll assert dominance over other people. And generally they have an inflated self esteem, a sense of self esteem. Now it's inflated. Sometimes they believe it because they do believe their lies. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's a cover, but they, they come across very confident. And uh, this type of narcissism has actually been tested and validated through peer review research, often in opposition with vulnerable narcissism. Now vulnerable narcissism is also known as covert. And um, so people can have overt, which is more the grandiosity, uh, and then, um, sorry, the covert is the vulnerable. And some of it deals with how the person grew up, uh, whether they were um, unrealistic expectations they felt they had to meet, or if they were vulnerable, they might have been in an abusive household, like physically, or being locked in closets, cigarettes put out on them, uh, even just harsh words instead of uh, over praise or over expectations and, and being felt unable to achieve things. Um, so, so where the drive comes from for their actions makes a difference. So um the vulnerable narcissists those are uh like i said covert it's the ex pretty much the op opposite of the grandiose so they tend to be shy self um uh they they play the victim um sometimes they can feel uh inhibited hypersensitive to the evaluations of others and a lot of times they're envious of others. They'll play the poor me. I don't have this. I'm not worthy of a beautiful house or I will never achieve this. So you, so you feel sorry for them. Um, and that's how they get their attention. The, the grandiose ones um, seek praise, but the vulnerable seek attention just to, uh, you know, kind of coddle them. Uh, they get away with a lot of things because you know, we sometimes make, 
sorry we sometimes make excuses like yeah but they've been through a hard time that's why they lash out or they had a bad childhood or they didn't have a father um so a lot of people make excuses for them um but it's not our duty to rescue these people we have to have boundaries um because often we lose ourselves in these relationships and just ask yourself when was the last time that your needs mattered um we need to stand up for things that matter to us um sometimes we dumb ourselves down uh just to survive in these narcissistic relationships and that's when we start losing ourselves so the fourth one malignant narcissism and these are manipulative and malicious people they'll sometimes show signs of sadism aggression and this is uh according to the agp agp um it is the most severe subtype of our narcissistic personalities and these people will get pleasure uh, when people are just in a lot of pain discomfort um and these people are are pretty bad to where they thrive off of you hurting so if they're going to thrive off of you being uh, uncomfortable or in pain um you're setting yourself up uh for some pretty se severe sub abuse because they're just going to keep doing it they've spent their lives perfecting this craft of becoming um a better narcissist they they've learned the tricks of the trade now sexual narcissism is uh this is um where the sexual narcissist has an overly positive often egotistical admiration of their sexual prowess um they uh they start to become consumed with this obsession that they have with how wonderful their sexual performance is they need the sexual adoration of others so that's what they're seeking and they'll often be serial cheaters and um they will use sex as a weapon sometimes they even become violent during sex whether it's just uh, a little too over the top they're not respecting your boundaries if you tell them something hurts um or they 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 thrive off of inflicting pain um or, or to control you to where you're not allowed to say no so be careful out there because um you know rapes do happen uh sexual narcissism you know they they don't respect your boundaries they'll often lie if they have an std um they'll try to get you pregnant if they want a baby or to to, to control you so even um you know uh whether it's male or female the female says she's on birth control she might not be or the male uh, either pokes a hole in the condom or slips it off without you knowing because the lights are off um this is uh pretty pretty uh at risk because you can risk pregnancy you can risk uh you know sexual diseases some diseases lead to cancers or what is it syphilis can cause you to go crazy i think some of them can uh, i believe even cause blindness um but sexual narcissism is part of a three-part narcissist typing system and that includes sexual narcissism cerebral which is like brain centered and somatic narcissism so because of uh, the way that they do these subtypes they basically will only diagnose you with npd they don't necessarily give you a hardcore subtype um, but you can kind of tell where your narcissist fits in a lot of times there's some crisscrossing they can switch from overt to covert sometimes so each day can be different um, because everybody was raised in a in a different situation um so somatic narcissism if you're asking what that is that's where they derive uh their self-worth from their body um this might manifest uh in whether they had the best hair the prettiest eyes the um you know the bulkiest muscles the flattest stomach the tightest little behind uh so they'll obsess over their weight their physical appearance and often you'll see them criticizing other people based on their appearance they'll cut other people down um they'll ignore the needs of others they like to prioritize their own needs and um now if you're dealing with one of these uh be cautious uh you should avoid displaying emotional responses to their behavior because they'll feed off the drama and the cerebral narcissist this is number seven this is our 
uh, intellectual narcissists. They love to be the smartest, the most inte intellectual person, the most intelligent. These, uh, you almost can never win a fight with them. They won't back down. Uh, they'll go into arguments. Uh, they won't listen to what you have to say. They won't allow you to get your point across. Um, they, they'll never admit that you're right. Uh, but there's also a spiritual narcissist. And I know um, some of you with your religions, you're supposed to uh, go out and witness to people, um, you know, spread the word. But with the spiritual narcissist, uh, it's a little different. Um, you know, sometimes they'll use that to control how others act. They'll often use their spirituality to justify harmful behaviors. Um, they'll also use some uh, spiritual jargon which are just words uh, to intimidate others. So sometimes, uh, I don't know if I say Nebuchadnezzar, you're like, wow, she must have read the Bible. She knows that big name. Um, so just be cautious of that, that people aren't trying to trick you into certain things. Um, so then the narcissist needs to project an idealized version of himself to escape uh, what's broken and insecure within him. So these spiritual narcissists are on the outside, they seem sensitive. Uh, they'll do some spiritual actions uh, to elevate themselves above others. Um, so they get adored. Uh, I don't know if they make a food train or things like that, but um, a lot of it is, is uh, kind of like controlling for their needs. It's not necessarily uh, to, um, you know, be, be within their God. It's to be their own God, control their own feelings and, and have power over others. So if the uh, person with spiritual narcissism uh, uses their spirituality as a tool to manipulate or even belittle you, it's, it's not going to be healthy. They're just going to continue to do it. They don't uh, respect boundaries. And like I said, they um, will, will use spirituality to justify harmful behaviors um you know uh they twist and turn things to make you see their side so you can kind of uh sometimes too like uh you know this is um like david koresh uh from waco texas how he had his cult um he had people giving money uh giving their daughters uh you know they're breaking rules with underage children uh child brides um you know, people saw him as a god, pretty much, and and followed whatever he had to say. Um, I'm not sure if it was an actual god or uh, he said God was speaking through him, but whatever he said was taken as godlike, whether it was God speaking through him or or whatever. But he used it to manipulate. Um, it was really sad. Uh, at the end, um, people ended up dying because they were too afraid to to leave the compound. Um, they're not always that extreme, but some narcissists, that's why we get so confused over all of this is because um, there are all the different types and um, which one does our narcissist fit into? So we think we know, and then the next day they're, you know, overt versus covert. Um, but just to be aware of the different kinds uh, and the more knowledge you have, the more you can understand it, the more you need uh, the more you know, the better you'll be able to deal with the situation, whether you limit contact or go no contact. 20-25% um, of the world is narcissistic. Um, some is healthy, but most of it is not. And um, people lose themselves. Uh, you know, um, people can become suicidal or uh, have... Um, just such a feeling of doom and gloom or feeling stuck because of finances um, because the narcissist has it to where um, they they pull you away from from your community of friends or family they turn people against you so even if you do reach out to maybe your parents now your parents see things from your narcissist point of view um, it, it's better to get out earlier than later because it does cause brain damage and i just wanted you guys to be aware of the different kinds of narcissism if you'd like to comment below uh, ask for suggestions for videos and one-on-ones are available i'll see you in the next video take care